This is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm speaking with Mark, and we're on the lot at SH Farm Supply in Rogersville, Missouri. And Mark's an old buddy of mine. And if you watch my videos, you know he's my resident sprayer expert. And uh, he's not only sells sprayers at SH Farm Supply, but he also used to work for a chemical company. So he's got a wealth of information about chemicals and, and safety with chemicals and sprayers. And today we're going to talk about winterizing a sprayer. And Mark, tell us why that's important. Well, with the feel of the chill in the air this morning and, and uh, knowing that we're just right on the verge of freezes and everything, we want to protect this sprayer, everything from our nozzles to our pumps and our filters and everything on these sprayers so that we can have them prepared for winter and so that they won't freeze up, bust, and become a very, very expensive fix for, for the owner. First thing you got to do is get that spray out of there. And we were talking earlier before we went on the air here about uh, my tendency is to try to save everything. And if I've got 20 gallons of, of material left to try to save it over the winter, that's not a good idea. No, it's not. It'll vital, vitalize, vitalize, and become. What, what, what word again? <laughs> volatize. <laughs> it will volatize. And, and then it'll start separating the chemical from the waters and the chemicals that are in the chemical itself will separate out, freeze, turn to crystals, and then it'll never go back into suspension right. And you just, ha you just have a mess. And you sure don't want that in your sprayer. So the no. first step we got to do, uh, so we don't vo volatize, volatize. Vi volatize, vo whatever, yeah. it, is, to, is to get all the material out. And we don't want to just open up the, the 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 tank and let it drain. We want to spray it out. The solution to pollution is dilution. I remember that. <laughs> That's right. And and like I said, we can add extra water and everything. Get this thing flushed and cleaned as best we can with the water. Then get our water drained out. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start in with putting in RV type antifreeze. And using an RV better than engine antifreeze is because number one, it's safer for humans. Number two, RV antifreeze is safer for animals, pets, and everything, crops, and the whole environment use an RV antifreeze. Yeah, do, do not put regular antifreeze in. Don't. Bad, bad idea. Now I'm tangled up in the mic cord. So we're going to use RV antifreeze, and this is safe for the environment, because after we're done with this, next spring, it's going to come back out. Yes, it is. We're going to add water, and that's one of the most important things come next spring, and hopefully we'll do another video or something as to how we're going to bring that machine back down out of out of winterization and get it ready for our spring spring season. So, but right now, uh, today, we are going to go ahead and we're going to load the machine with two gallon. This is a, a 200 or a 300 gallon tank. We're going to put two gallons in it, and then we're going to turn the pumps on, and we're going to run this through the whole system and get it antifreezed up and everything. Now, how do you know to use two gallon? Is there a kind of a formula you use, or you just want it good and circulated through the system? System. There's nothing any better than the operator's manual. If you'll read that operator's manual, it'll tell you on the size of tank that you've got and everything as to the, as to the amount of gallonage and everything. And the thing is, if, if this was a boom type sprayer, mic, then what we would do, we, would, we had to get water through all of those boom lines, through all of those nozzles and into all those screens and everything. So we'd probably have to go up to three to four gallons on a boom type sprayer. And, and, and one thing to understand, if you don't drain your sprayer and, and the pump cracks which it will if it gets cold where you are uh, that uh, your your warranty is voided yes yes uh, a, a frozen system completely voids all manufacturer warranties fittings everything is all void and and uh, they're not cheap to fix no they're not we're going to show you dumping the uh, the RV antifreeze in and then we're going to circulate it through the system Yes, we are, and uh, we do it by a method of agitation. We run it through the whole system and everything, and then once it is agitated in, then we start opening the valves and we start putting the product through each of the uh, nozzles. We put it through the handgun, we put it through the pump, and we also put it through the control panel up here, Mike. Yeah, and show us here, it's got to go through the filter. Yeah. Yes, first off, it's coming out of the tank, coming into this brass fitting, which brass will freeze and bust, so we want that antifreeze in there. We also want it in this plastic filter system. Then we want it to move on from there. We want it to go up. We want it to come into the pump. Once it leaves the pump, it's going to come out, and we're going to run it up. We're going to go into our control panel up here, 
Uh, then we're going to also pull our handgun. We're going to get it to go through the handgun by opening up the handgun, getting it to go through the handgun. Then we're going to turn on our back uh, valves back here, our back uh, boomless nozzles, and then we're going to get it to go through our boomless nozzles. And once we do that, our system is winterized. So this, this tank is ready to go through the winter, and, the, and uh, we'll talk next spring about what to do whenever you take it out of hibernation. That's right. We sure will. I survive on web traffic. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions or comments, put them down below. We'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.